what is up guys today I'm going to be doing a different type of video again I'm going to be showing you the best spots on prison break I only play search and destroy so these spots are kind of dedicated for that but I suppose you can uh, play any other game type with it as well spot right here by the Varela sign the reason why you want to be here is because you can t see the hill you can see mid map hill but you can see the guard tower so you can actually see the guard tower and snipe people at the guard tower from all the way over here fantastic spot and most importantly right I guess the guard tower is most important but this is also really good you can actually see the trailer all the way in the back right there where people go on top of and wait for people to go river out snipe people off that as well okay another spot for when you plan a bomb you want to get back up here and then you can travel along this blue wall thing go right in between the leaves ghillie suit incog bang see a perfectly crystal clear and not many people will check this under the bridge. I actually think this is a really underrated spot. Not many people check to see if you're under here. And you can see the top hill flank right there. Communicate with your teammates. And if you're prone right here, you can actually see mid-map the, ridge around, the uh, ridge around here to your spawn. So you can definitely use this spot. And uh, I guarantee not many people will find you here. Alright, this is a pretty well-known spot, but you can get a cheap kill from this as well, so you might want to do this. You can either go right here, and boom, you're pretty much invisible, right? The chances of you being seen are very, very slight. And you can get a guy, go on side hill. You can, you can even knife him, be silent about it. Or what you can do is you can jump, and you can go all the way up here. You don't want to go any more than that, though, or else you'll fall. And then you can see the turnaround from Top Hill, and then you can pick them off from here. If you have the ghillie suit, this isn't a bad spot. You can prone on this small rock here by the end of the cliff, and then you can kind of see your back spawn. So if they're crossing over from Forest, and they're going to they're gonna try and go like the long way around your spawn, you can call out right there. You can see by the log truck. And then also, if you got Amplify or just a decent headset, you can hear if they're going middle map. So this is a decent spot right here as well. There's this huge fucking indent into this, like, cliff, like, cave thing. So you can just chill right here, prone, with a ghillie suit, got incog on. You might get someone running around. Not too many people look to the right, especially if you got incog on, they're not going to see your name. Maybe camouflage with a bush. Get a nice little free kill going through there. Not a bad spot. You can go under this truck right here. Crawl right under it if you want to. And not bad for defending. It's more if you got you know amplified and you can hear people. You don't want to really give up your position and start shooting. The main point of this one is you kind of want to stay hidden, and you want to have another teammate taking out the enemies while you call them out. You want to give them a heads up. Hey, they're coming from the right. They're going around the truck, and you want to just help them out a little bit. This is a spot that most people know about, and it's checked actually really often, so it's not the best spot to go into. But you can get a really good view on the guard tower, as you can see. Definitely get a good snipe off of that. You'll fuck some kids up. They'll get really angry. You kind of just have to watch your left flank. You can see the right flank right there if you plant B-side. And then you can just move over here and you can get pipes. So, not a terrible spot, but it's checked often. If you plant at the A-bomb, you want to go under this truck to defend. And then you can get easy kills. Once again, maybe you don't want to give up your position... But you can, if you're last man, get the kill and maybe not go there next round. Probably not the best idea. But it's better than always going on that side of the guard tower every time you plan A. A side note, if you don't want to go under, like let's say you go under for a round and you defend, you win the round. They're going to know you're under there. So what you can do is you can go on top. Bang, no problem. Here's another spot that you want to go into if you plan A-bomb. You don't want to go in this back pickup truck. You can crouch, you can look right here, get a good shot, and then you can even go here if you want to. So that's not bad, pretty good. Then you can go up here, go right here. So now you can get a, a vantage point of B pipe right there. When you plant B, you can even, you, you'd have to have a really sick finger. You'd have to get it like right away, but you can get a kill from a guy there. Especially if there's a teammate with a ride shield blocking it off for you to pick them. Alright, here's another spot. It's by under the bridge. 
what you can do is you can go on the side of these barrels right here and you have a decent vantage point from top hill you can see if there's a gunfight going on you can even get a nice little curve angle on them so if a teammate's here getting in a, a battle with somebody over there and then the guy's starting to get flanked around you can pop them and then you got a nice viewpoint right here from your spawn so not a bad spot Alright, I don't recommend this spot too much, but if you're playing against a whole bunch of noobs, a whole bunch of randy bobs, then fine. Gilly suit incog. You can get a nice vantage point on the back river spot I was talking about, and then if he's going the front river by the trailer, then you can get a shot off. And yeah, you can get top hill, but if you're going to go in this spot, then you're either planting A or B, but this is more favorable to the A side. But if you do plant A side, they're going to come towards you, which means... There's a huge chance you're going to die, because it's not like you're going James Bond secret spy mode. You know, you're pretty visible doing this, even with Incog. You're just a big fucking bush, and there's only a couple of leaves covering you. So I'd, I'd rather plant B-side and take my chances with popping kids from the river. Up to you. Alright, so here's another small spot that could work for about a round. So what you want to do is you just want to go to this hill, and then you can jump into this tree. There you go, you got a little spot. So what you could do is you can go in that other tree right over there, get a kill, and then once he finds your spot you can switch it up a little bit you go in this tree and then oh yeah you think i'm there bitch bam now he's gonna look for you there how you can even fuck with his brain a little bit you know mind fuck him you can get a kill there get a kill here get a kill there stay here twice you know you can really mess with him and uh, get some good kills like this all right so this is just a, like a different uh way of protecting a instead of going the truck if you want to be even more secretive right like let's say they're going from this way like down this road right here, they might see you and kill you. Or if they're coming from behind, they can they can kill you. You can actually see through the window. And you can protect A from this small corner on top of these barrels here. So, that works. That works just as well. You can go all the way back here. So even if he's coming from that route, you know, if you haven't heard him and prepared for him. Let's say you don't even want to challenge him. You want him to go for the defuse so you can fuck him up. Right here, prone. In Cog Gilly suit, you're good to go. Alright, so here's another spot by under the bridge that will protect you all the way around. You can go on this spot right here. So now you got pretty much a head glitch going on where you can see top hill and defend from there. You can... This is big, big tree in the way. Humongous tree. Unbelievably, unrealistically big fucking tree right here. And you can just get protection from that so they won't see you right away. They, they won't look here at all honestly so that's this is just a good middle map spot all right that's it for today's video if you like the video then please click the like button subscribe also if you enjoyed and want to see more of my content if you have a spot that I didn't show I'm sorry I tried showing all the ones I knew found these purely on my own so I, I can't you know find them all but this is what I use when I'm playing Search and Destroy. So, thanks for watching.